First of all, this is what the back side of a timer looks like. Okay. Now what you have to make sure is you got, when you got one contact closed, the other one's open. Okay. Now these things, these bridges have melted before, broken, content, uh, by metal, yes, heated up before and warped. And you'll be trying, sometimes you buy, and it's happened quite a few times, that you'll be trying to cool and defrost at the same time. Which, you know, that would just blow your mind at first, you know, because that thing be sitting there, you know, just acting stupid on you. So, always check, take your timer off, out of your box, flip it over, take a look at these contacts. Okay, now this right here, is your pump down, I mean your defrost kick out solenoid, okay? And when you're in a defrost cycle, now I've seen these go bad, and they'll be cocked up like that, and you go into a defrost, and you flip it just, just like it never happens, because it just skips right over it. And then your coils will be frozen, you know, solid, and but your heater's there, on out good, and then you sit there, what's going on, you know? So you look for that. I always look out for pitted points also. Because a lot of times they'll get pitted up and you'll get low voltage. So that acts make everything act stupid also. Alright, then you got your timer motor, which you know that's pretty simple. It goes from a, a L1 to your neutral or common. You know, what you're in a 220 or 110 cycle. Okay, now, right now we're in a run mode, which that would be Number four is your run coming out. So you're shooting power from two to four, and as you band there from one. Okay, so right now, these contacts, we're in a run mode. Okay, now, eventually I'll get around over here to this here defrost pig. Alright, now, alright, you hear your first click. You fix and go into a defrost mode. And then your second click puts you in defrost. At right, this point, closes. Your run liquid solenoid opens up. So you should be getting power from your common neutral to number four. I mean, number three on your uh, defrost, on your timer right here. Okay? All right. Now. Everything's gonna got hot and toasty and all that good stuff. And then your defrost terminator says, hey man, it's time to quit. So, you'll get a, as you can see, you got one power wire coming off terminal number three, and it's feeding straight over here to the solenoid. So you got the positive side already feeding. Now what you gotta do is get that neutral, which comes through your defrost terminator. All right, once that defrost terminator it comes up and mounts to here on X. That's what X is always. You just kick out solenoid. And if you'll watch real close, come over here, Derek, where you can see. Alright, if you'll watch closely, once this thing is energized, just kick out solenoid, alright, it kicks a mechanical arm right there, and the mechanic system, it kicks it out. See there? Bam. Now you back into your run mode. Bypass the timer. Your defrost, right? It kicks it out of defrost.